back to there. Right, I'm just going to center that up to the object. And I'm just going to pull it back and forward. It's going to go back to about comes off a little bit more than that so that should be alright in fact Just when it's in first person can't see it there put it back um, I need to do the stop area here that's the actual barrel isn't it right for starters I'm just going to select all of my geometry and I'm going to group it No, I'm not. Right. First of all, I need to make sure everything's got a symmetry map. I'll probably come and delete these out later on, but I'm just going to add a symmetry map to everything. This button as well. Oops. I didn't click anything. Z, and then make sure it's on zero. Right now, because my my actual weapon should be perfectly aligned on both sides, perfectly just distributed, should I say? Because now, and that should go on zero. Yep. So now the center of my object's zero, and I can just bring it out from zero. Hmm. How fat does it need to be? that's about as fat as it needs to be. Looks a bit chunkier now. Yeah, it's about as chunky as that, isn't it? It's actually quite a chunky pistol, I never noticed. Right, now, I'm just going to ungroup it now. I'm just going to leave the symmetry maps on in case I need them later on. I'm just going to select my thingy. <laughs> need to bring them. Can you see these have got edges on? I need to do that. So I'm just going to edge faces and scale it down and bring them in. I'm not going to make these as big as the original. Hmm, that's zero. Why is that not on zero? Hmm, I think I've hit a problem. I've actually hit a problem when I scaled it. I'll sort that out in a second, but for s for now, and I'm just going to copy this, because this is zero now. This is what I classed as zero. See if my ob other object's on it as well. Yep, exactly the same. Right, so I'm going to need to... change it later on I'll just make sure that's round needs to be a bit thicker it's looking alright I need to do exactly the same as I just did there oh, I've got to move my screen with this, with this one I'm going to do it a bit differently I'm just going to bring it across This one's a little harder because it's on an angle. In fact, I'm just gonna. Oh crap! Just paste that onto there. I'm gonna bring that back. Bring this round as well. I need to. Just come down to about here. I'm gonna need to go out there. Now I'm just going to come in here and create a polygon from here to here. Now I'm just going to come to the front of my weapon. 
and I'm going to create a cylinder all the way through it. I need to try and Select it, scale it down a bit. It's going to edit my actual geometry that I've done already just to make it fit a bit better. apply this to it. I can select it because it's got loads of segments on that I don't need at the moment. And I'm going to bring it down to about 8 I think. Let's see how detailed 8 is. In fact I'll knock it up to 10. Get rid of all them crappy segments. Convert it to editable, an edit editable poly. Bring it through straight through to the front. And grab the back and pull that back as well. So now when it fires so let me just check something. Yeah it's still got it in. But after it's fired then it's got a hole in this thing here. So I'm just gonna come into here um I'm going to have to hollow it out, well, not hollow it out, but I'm just going to select it and then I'm going to, going to connect it twice. Press OK, select these, oh, select them, and just move these back. That's about the right space, isn't it? Oh, wrong one. Yeah, it's not that big. Now I can just simply come in to here and extrude it. I'll deselect that one. Hmm. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah. Oh, wrong one. Undo. I just scaled it in the wrong. I'm just going to do the opposite to what this looks like, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to make it an inner circle rather than an outer circle. I think that'll do, it doesn't need to be too perfect. Now it's coming here, I can already see that I've got a problem, so I'm going to select this and move it back a bit. Same with the front. Sorry to start out the camera. It's a bit messed up at the moment. It's gonna add more slices into this. Oh no, I don't even need to. Oh, wrong angle. Make sure it nicely fits around it. Same with the front one. It's still not zooming in. Go away. There we go. Probably don't have a clue what I did then, but it's.
can come into my side view. Oh, I need to. Some edges. Need to bring this down, and I'll move it out a bit as well. That's just. There we go. So now it's definitely got a little hole for the bullet to fly out of. It's going to have um, a what's it, a flap on this side when I've done it. So it's going to fly out the other side. I'll probably edit this a little bit later as well. Right, I think that's about it. I just need to do the back little trigger thingy. Just pull this forward back to where it was. Hmm. Right, I just need to add them, add that, add the back thing here. And then I've got to add a little thing on here as well. And then it's just editing really, and just because it's just got a symmetry map on it, it's kind of just exactly the same on each side at the moment. So I'm just going to create a little, oh, not a sphere. What am I doing? Cylinder. It's going to create a cylinder. Just a basic one. Just put it on that little center. In fact. going on here. I seem to be. Oh my god. I've had it on local for so long. I can't believe I've done that. Oh you're joking. Right, I'm going to quickly do some editing now. Right, everything that's got a symmetry map like this, I need to centre to the object. I know it's exactly the same on each side, and I'm just going to centre it to zero. I'm going to do it exactly the same with this one. I'm centre it to the thing and do that. I don't know if you'll be having this problem right now, but I am, and it's annoying. Right, I know this is exactly the same on each side, so I'm just going to do exactly the same as I did before. Put that on zero. These buttons, I think these are what messed it up. Oh, it was that. Ah, oh, you cunt. I forgot to symmetry modify that. Anyway, as you can see, I'm just making sure. Just going around and making sure everything's on zero, like the clip won't be. And you just go to the clip and centre to object. It's on the same axis as it was on the other ones. Hmm, I think that's actually alright now. I can't believe I did that. Hopefully you didn't make the same mistake. And I can't bother redoing the VTM, so... Right, as you can see, I've just... Just apply that to the front of this cylinder. Just bring it out a tiny little bit more so it's a bit more distinct. Alt-W, right. I'm just gonna bring that down to 8 because I don't need as many on that one. Convert it to an edible poly and I'm just gonna select. I'm just gonna, see if I'm just gonna select the back thing because I don't need that and just delete that out. Because you're not gonna be able to see it. So, In fact, I could just. No, it doesn't matter. Right, I think that's gonna conclude this VTM. Sorry, I had so many mistakes in it. Um, I didn't really plan this one very well or anything. Hmm, it's looking alright. I get that space filled in and get the top thing filled in. It's quite a nice pistol. Anyway, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.